Welcome to Five Good Minutes. You're listening to today's inspirational message on the book of Esther with Kurt Bjorklund. Today we turn to Esther chapter 2 in the way that we've been doing this. I don't actually have the luxury of having heard uh, what was taught on Esther 1, but I assume at this point you have heard a little bit of the backstory of the book of Esther, a little bit of the um, story that's involved, that involves Haman and Mordecai and Esther and the king and Vashti and all that goes into this. And what is significant as we come into chapter two is that we take just a step back and understand that Esther, having gone into this harem and being made queen, which is what happens in chapter two, is something that God does. And it is a point really of this book that God is sovereign over the details of life. And this is one of the books, I think it's the only book in the Old Testament that doesn't mention God directly. And so God is here, but he isn't obvious to people right away. And that's probably part of the point of this book is that sometimes when God seems least obvious to us, his work is very extensive. And that's an important thing to understand as we look at this chapter. And so the idea here, at least in part, is that God is working. He's working behind the scenes. And really in a couple of areas, he's working when it seems bleak. Uh, Esther has made it into the king's um, harem And yet at the same time, everything in her life seems bleak. And yet God is placing her in a place where she will be used mightily by God. Uh, There's the old verse in Romans 8, 28, which all verses are old, but uh, Romans 8, 28, old in the sense that it's familiar to many people, that God causes all things to work together for good. Just simply to remember the idea that even when things seem bleak, God is working. That is such an important lesson in this chapter and in this book. And then secondly, God is working even when others have evil or selfish intentions. So here we have the king, we have Haman, who all have agendas that negatively impact Esther. And yet God is still at work. God is still doing something. So this is a good thing to to remember when you feel neglected by others, when you've been cheated by others, when you've been abused, that God's not hemmed in by the selfish or evil intentions of others. And then we see that God works even when we compromise. Esther joining this harem could be described as something that is wrong on her part. Uh, Some people would say she did what she had to do. There's no evil or malice. She's just living in the culture that she's in. Other people would say she knew that this was compromised to put herself in this place and she should have resisted. And therefore, um, you know, God would have worked in a different way to achieve his purposes. And that's probably true. Um, I think part of the point here is that Sometimes we make choices, we do the best we can, and even if we make a wrong choice, a poor choice, we compromise, God is still working, God is still doing what God does. And so what this just points to is this idea that God's hand is active in our lives, even when things seem bleak, even when we have evil or selfish intentions, or others have evil and selfish intentions, and even when we compromise. So I was watching a little bit of the NBA the other day when I'm recording this, it's the start of the NBA playoffs. And uh, there's a great thing on most rec- most TV services now that records things. So you can watch them faster. You, you don't have to watch all the commercials, all of that. But the other piece of that is sometimes you end up watching something where you know the outcome. And I was watching one of the games after that had happened. I knew the outcome. And what's amazing to me is when you watch something where you know the outcome, it takes all of the stress of watching out of uh, the experience because you say, I know how this ends. And if you're a child of God, 
You can live with the luxury of saying, I know how this ends. I know that God's hand is active. I know that he's good. I know that he's working. This was the story of Esther. This is what we see in Esther chapter two. And today it's my hope that you can live with the confidence of saying God's working no matter what I'm staring down today. Thanks for joining us here today. There's a lot of great content to explore on Orchard Hill Plus and on the Orchard Hill main feed from the weekend. Have a great day.